So we're really lucky today to um, sit down with Will Balm, um, who you and I obviously knew each other a long time ago now. We went to school together. Yep. Um, we, had, we were in the same tutor group of all things. And I think at that time, I, I knew you from sort of around school, but I didn't, didn't know you as I know you now, as, um, as a, a mate that we've sort of formed a really strong connection quite recently. Um, obviously, it's, it was 10 years of, of that sort of, of our lives that went by. What was your experience with your mental health over that time? Going back, is interesting. I think a really important part of um, growing up is reflecting on where we've been. I think as a younger man, probably knowing you, probably yeah. you were the same in terms of our own journeys, very difficult to understand what was going on underneath the surface. Yeah. And those ten, <laughs> 10 years, when you talk about it like that, you know, time really flies. Time goes so quickly, you, you, you know, all of a sudden you're 30. Really, it goes very slowly in the way that you're learning so much about yourself and some things that, um, in terms of weathering storms, but also enjoying great times and, and that sort of thing. So 10, ten years to, to summarise is a pretty difficult thing because there's, there's been a lot that's happened yeah. and a lot, of, um, a lot of things that I've had to very quickly learn, but also very slowly learn in the sense that, um, particularly with like anxiety and, and that, um, it's it's been really challenging at times and i think when you're you know you're 17 18 you just think you're what the world's at your feet and it is in some respect you know but you've also got to learn a lot that you know we're, we're, there's seven eight billion people in the world and and you know um there's more than just you yeah you know and i think those connections as well are re really important but yeah it's a, it's a really difficult question because in 10 years you know i've faced a lot of um great adversities and um, but I've had a lot of great times as well and made a lot of great friendships so to summarize 10 years is difficult but it feels like there's there's been a lot of learning yeah <laughs> what are some of the things you went through I suppose I always had um, an anxious dis disposition mm -hmm. but it definitely was ex exacerbated by well decisions I made but um, but also just um, just life I think and and that sort of thing and just just I think reaching dead ends um, you know, studying things that I wasn't really interested in or, um, yeah, making decisions that uh, weren't necessarily good for me and it really exacerbated my uh, anxiety and, you know, I think dealing with um, the diagnosis uh, of having an anxiety disorder and panic disorder completely changed my life and I think for a, for a fair while I avoided a lot of things. There was mm -hmm. like a lot of aversion as is probably pretty common with people who have anxiety. So I avoided the things I loved and yeah. it was really, really challenging in the sense that um, I felt like I wasted a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, there were like, there's some key moments there where I slumped yeah. again. You know, I moved to London and I thought everything was going to be okay and I was going to write and I was going to change careers and, you know, studied law and I don't know quite why I did, but I did. And then, you know, I slumped um, because of, well, decisions I made, but also just the fact that I'd reached a point where I almost needed to, there was almost messages being sent to me of you need to take stock and, and, and consider where you actually are. And yeah. it was tremendously difficult and um, things that still challenge me to this day. And saddening in a way because, uh, you know, it happened, but at the same time I learnt so much and I can really look back at those times. I'm quite proud of how, how far I've come. At Mendel, we're obviously, we're really interested in this, this idea of conversations, conversations yep. between mates and the benefits that conversations can have on someone's mental health or, or just generally a positive impact on their lives. What do you reckon conversations mean to you and has that been something that you now sort of utilise or, or rely on? Conversations are everything, I suppose, you know. This is great, we're having a conversation now, but like I have conversations with friends, family, and I learn, again, back to learning, I learn so much from um, just listening to them. Yeah. And sometimes it's very difficult to listen. I think listening is a skill that takes a lot of time to master, and I'm still so far away from being able to really hear someone. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think with mental health issues, Sometimes people are, are talking about these things for the first time. They've been sitting on them for, you know, five to ten years, yeah. and or you know, longer mm. in some cases. And that that means that's a really important conversation. Mm. And yes, there are different conversations. The gravity of conversations as well, and humour is really important too. But I think conversations are incredibly important with friends, but also with uh, professionals. Yeah, you know, I've got a great relationship with my current psychologist and. I see her as a friend. I know it's not 
like that, but you know, and I teach and I have, you know, the girls that I teach, I see them as friends. So in that sense, conversations are hugely important to, to sort of, again, I mentioned it before, but take stock of where you are, but, but to also uh, sort of figure out where you're going to. And, yeah. And I just love having conversations with people who are ready to open up and be transparent and mm. honest because I think we're all trying to work on becoming more honest with ourselves. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. I think um, one of the biggest things we learned was in regards to listening and, yeah. um, and that it's not, the, the listening component of it is just as important as the person that is potentially talking about their mental health for the first yeah. time. And it's, it's the conversation that is received and, um, and how it is received that has a really big, big impact on whether that conversation will be had again yeah. and whether it can be something that's sort of ingrained in, in day-to-day life where they're very happy to sort of talk about where they're at, how they're feeling, um, how their year's been and things like that. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's really, really important, I think. You are producing a documentary with good friend Vinny. Yes. Do you want to give us a little bit of a run through about what it's about? Well, I think it started off, and um, shout out to Vinny, one of, the, one of the great people I know, and I'm very fortunate to have a really strong friendship with him, but also to work with him on this project. And um, it makes me really excited talking about it because- Long right, time coming. Oh, a long time coming. <laughs> It started off as, uh, I think we just thought, you know, this short 10 minute documentary mm. over uh, a couple of months. And it's yeah. turned out, I think we filmed over a, a few years. And of course, this year being um, 2020. Yeah. Um, it's and, a perfect end. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Just uh, so much confusion and such a tumultuous year. But um, yeah, the documentary is about, um, I suppose it's called Letters to My Anxiety. Mm-hmm. And it started because I wrote a lot of um, blogs about anxiety and it was the first time I really opened up to a um, I know social media gets a bad rap but it was pretty much to a, to a, my entire circle of friends and um, I was going through an incredibly difficult period personally mm-hmm. but sharing that was um, was 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 really important to me and that was unfiltered completely unfiltered then Vinny and I sort of um, it was that near the end of my London uh, journey which was again uh, difficult in a lot of ways, but I was, it was, I was so grateful to meet someone like Vinny and start working with him. And, and we've, we filmed across, yeah, across uh, a number of days, across a number of years, but it's coming to, coming to an end, mm. I, I think. But the, the best thing about it is, um, we even spoke about it the other day, that there's, there's more we can go from after yeah. releasing this mm. because there's so many more conversations exactly. to have. Yeah, hopefully it's released pretty soon, and it's it's. Um, it's really, I know we're all really very excited. very excited to <laughs> to see. Well, it. you're featured in it, so uh, which is great, and you know I love what Mendel do. So, what do you reckon 2021 looks for you? <sighs> Talking about 2020 is is there's going to be a lot of reflection, and it's going to have a huge impact on us for a long time to come. Mm-hmm. 2021 is. Uh, I know sometimes when you think about a year is you know it's a change. It's like put 2020 in the I feel bin. Like this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, there was like 2019 when there was Prince dying and David Bowie and, you know, everyone was there. I was like, ah, oh, 2019, what a shocking year. But 2020, I think, really has been, mm. uh, I think when we close this uh, chapter, um, hopefully 2021 is, uh, is a year where we, we get a, a real mm-hmm. uh, go at it. But I think um, in terms of um, what my year looks like, um, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm teaching, but I've also got plenty on the cards in terms of uh, mental health. Mm. Uh, work and um, I do a lot of work at my football club and the league I'm involved in and so I'm just excited to you know to probably put this year behind us Mm -hmm. but at the same time I think there's going to be a lot of hopefully a lot of positive things that come from this year yeah in terms of people being more understanding and empathetic and again listening to each other and yeah and talking about the things we need to talk to and being open I think if there's ever a year for people to listen people to have conversations and really open up about sort of we're in this together and, yeah. and be kind. I think next year, yeah. end of this year, it's it's an important time to try and embody it. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Mate, thank you. Appreciate you coming out and sitting down. And um, it's always good to have a chat. It is. It is. Thank you for having me. No worries.